Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Galactic Civilizations 3 Mercenaries with me, Get Daved. For those of you familiar with the series, Galactic Civilization 2 was a good game. It got three expansion packs, I believe, and by the end, it was a somewhat different and fantastic game. So I'm really excited to see what the expansion packs are doing to Gala Civ 3. Not unlike what happened with uh, Civ 4 and 5, like when 5 came out, everybody was kind of disappointed because 4 had become such a complete game with all the expansion packs and everything, And uh, but 5 sort of caught up and then really uh, was great by the end. So I'm really hoping this is following a similar trajectory, and let's see, let's see where we are, shall we? I'm going to take a look at the different factions. Um, the Archeans are back again, which is exciting. We've got killer squirrels. So, I mean, that's nice. Yeah, the Torians are friends from... Uh, I think they were in the original uh, rollout of the game, actually. Anyway, our usual suspects from the series are here. But I'm going to play as the United Earth, who are sort of like all around good people. They're like the Federation. I'm gonna load up. I've got the game set up already. The big change is that, uh, where are we here? There we go. No surrendering. We all fight to the death. And I'm just gonna bump everyone up to gifted. I've never played a gifted opponent before. But, uh, you know, hopefully that's that's going to be all right. And let's have at her, shall we? We're going to do some exploration, some expansion, some extermination. Not in that order. And, uh, you know, that other X, exploitation. Whatever. I've already lost track. All right. Welcome to the game. We're bottom left of the map. Now we're sharing this 12 ways. So we've got to get as much or control of as much space as possible early on. That said, I'm just going to go for Mars right away. This is for two reasons. One, because I'm going to rush a colony ship anyway, and I have no idea where to move it. That's pretty cool. Sometimes this also gives you the chance to take like a moral dilemma, which can be really good. All right, this planet has no real bonuses. So here's what I'm going to do. We're just going to research here because it's something we can do that'll help the entire empire. All right, we've got our survey ship, and there's an anomaly to survey, so might as well check it out right now. And to start, I'm going to keep on manual exploration. Uh, I'm just going to research factories right away. If this is going too fast, don't worry. There will be lots of deliberations shortly, but for now, less so. All right, this tile, we get adjacency bonuses if we have similar sorts of tiles close together. Um, but this one has a wealth bonus. We can't build that quite yet. It also has a research bonus. Not as good, though. And then we also are going to get a bonus because the capital, located in uh, parts of Italy... Yeah, we'll say, we'll say it's this is the Roman Empire. That's what we're going to say. I always enjoy playing this game when you get your capital here on the wonderful Siberian coast. All right, I think we'll go with manufacturing. This shape can have a lot of stuff going on for it. And if we can get our hands on some durantium, whoops. Not you. 
We could do some really good stuff here. These are fairly cheap, so we'll rush one. And we can't build the wealth building yet, so we'll just start like that. So have our shipyard. The constructor could be really good for increasing our productivity really quickly. So I'm gonna go for it because we know where there's some Durantum. So you start with a survey ship, which is pretty good. It's got some weapons on it. It's got some armor. That's like beyond what we will be able to build from scratch. It's a ship size that we can't build right now. And it can survey stuff, which means anytime you see this uh, icon of the boar model of the atom, that's, you know, something good. Something good that we could pick up. No other ship can pick it up unless it has a survey module, but we can't build those yet. Yay. Yay, the ship gained experience. Oh my goodness. To all ships in the fleet, I wonder if that's like applied to every ship as an individual right now, or if that's like a permanent gain for the rest of the game. Because that would be really nice. Guess we'll find out if subsequent ships have vastly superior range. Okay, so these are indicating stars. What we're really looking for are planets. Oh, come on. I believe I misclicked. That's fine. That's fine. So this is claiming some turf for us. I was like, maybe we click it on the adjacent one. You're gonna learn some fun things by watching me make mistakes. Dang it. And we'll spend some more money buying one because I really want that Durantum. And now we're defending it. Uh, we can actually increase the productivity. We'll say I did this on purpose. So it's in range of Earth and this Durantum Reservoir. I'll deal with that in a moment. You'll all see why this was not a colossal mistake. Okay, we're gonna smile and nod and turn off the translation because we don't have the Universal Translator yet. It's a really easy tech. Just kind of mind-blowing to me. I think a universal translator would be really complicated. Each resource is a little different. Durantum is the one I like right now because it can be used to fuel production-based buildings. We gotta find a habitable planet somewhere. Also, we've already encountered the Kryn, so they've gotta be close. All right, so we're gonna build our mining ring and it is gonna be able to research the Dur or reach the Durantum. So now we have one Durantum unit right now. I'm remembering the game now. Uh, I'll go after this Promethean and the Thulium, actually. Sorry for everybody who must be freaking out right now, being like, this guy doesn't know how to play. That's not true. This guy doesn't remember how to play, which is a little different. Maybe we'll have it next turn. Okay. We can leapfrog one technology off of this. Usually I opt for manufacturing bonuses, so we'll go for that. Class zero planet. So we're finding planets, they're useless, but we are technically finding them. And pretty underwhelming early exploration.
We only need the one. There we go. It's good stuff, folks. Okay, now that the game's happy, we can build this lovely refinery and super pump our production on our home world. We can also focus everything towards that. Having some approval concerns. We don't have the way of improving that quite yet. Oops. Making a lot of money right now. Just gonna shift towards production right now. Cause I don't really, like we're not gonna be making a huge amount of money even if I really focus on saving it. But we can have some really nice research and manufacturing totals. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm happy enough with our balance. Oh, this is a nice looking guy. I believe the corks. They have the universal translator, of course. All right, what do you got? Let's make a deal. I'm not sure what's happened. Here we go. So we can buy your lovely weaponized ships. All requiring resources we don't have. No, thank you. Good to know it's out there, though. It's kind of a cute little touch. My goodness. What's a guy got to do to find a planet out here? Makes me glad I uh, settled Mars when I had the chance, though. See if we can take a peek at that one. Right now we don't have very good sensors, uh, except on our, you know, starting ship. So it's kind of hard to see the things. Maybe that's that planet I've been looking for all along, who knows. I'm getting a little antsy. How much to buy the scout? It's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. I'm doing it. If that's the difference between us finding a planet and not, I'll take it. Hmm. Just trying to get that bumped up because of the huge benefit it's going to bring to us. All right, people aren't super happy. We get nice bonuses if we do something about that. We could build a morale star base as one option, make good use of that extra constructor, but I think I'll get more value out of the Promethean eventually. Okay, first things first, we gotta see if there's a decent planet to add. The obvious star. Hmm. It'd be really nice to build there. We actually need to take a look at some morale stuff. That's gonna give us the ability to increase our approval. So I therefore want it because my polling numbers are not looking good right now. 
And sometimes you have to worry about governance, government stuff in this game. You can sort of cheat and move your ships a little ahead of time in this game. That's what I'm attempting to do. Ooh! This is fantastic. We found what we were looking for. It was there all along. 469, or I can buy one. I'm gonna buy one that's further off. Because we've got two options here. But a class eight with some social manufacturing options, that's enough to actually possibly reconsider everything I'm doing at Earth. Could be the makings of a good... Ooh. Could be the makings of a good manufacturing capital, who knows. Gonna swap... No. No, Earth's going to be my manufacturing. Ugh. This is so difficult. <laughs> we'll keep it like that. I mean, we surveyed. There's more anomalies to check out, but I'd say right now finding a planet is still number one priority. Just because of how much space is going to be worth in the near future. Oh goodness, Dave's misclicking, wasting precious time. It doesn't help that our constructors are painfully slow. Well, give yourself 10 get Dave points if you thought this was going to be the place to check out the whole time. Imagine there's somebody watching who was just face palming hard when I got right up to that and didn't bother investigating further. Ooh. We should probably research universal translators. We'll sneak it in there. Okay, at home. Can have a nice approval bonus. And a nice wealth bonus. We'll leave it at that for now, I think. I mean, they've got plenty to work on, to be honest. Boy, if someone snapped that from me, I would be very disappointed. Okay, we're finding, oh, a minor race. This is actually really good news. So a minor race, typically only ever, oh my goodness. Okay, that's the constructor. This is the colony ship. How close are we? Okay, we're nearly bankrupt, but we gotta start snapping up these. It's pretty good. Sir, oh, some pretty good prospects up there. It's a little far from my territory. I probably could not meaningfully control the space. Man, I spent all my time exploring elsewhere. 50% social manufacturing. Like plus 50%, that's bonkers good. Sovereign. Hey, if you want a planet named after you, let me know in the comments section. Gonna have a good time. All right, now this is a far away place we're investigating or colonizing. So we get a colonizing event every time, which is a chance to advance a specific ideology and other bonuses. So let's see what we got. Yay. Oh. What are your orders? Well, I don't do a ton of trade since I usually end up fighting everybody. 
Oh. I don't want to do that. Uh, hood and cloak economic sector. I'm plus twenty percent approval works for me. Also, we'll talk about the benevolent tree momentarily. <laughs> Yay, get Dave Dia, home of the disfigured. Okay, they do have that social manufacturing bonus. It's gonna be hard to get, like this doesn't have any special tiles or anything like that. So it's gonna, and we don't even have the tightly clustered ones. So it's gonna be hard to like really have a knockout punch here. We don't have great research options anywhere though, so actually I'm going to scratch that. They're losing money and wealth. Also, <laughs> approval will be eventually an issue. that to get things going. This will be money as well. And then hopefully as terraforming opens up options, you know, we'll get a way to deal with morale, which will eventually become a real problem. Hmm. All right, might as well check that out. All right, I was mentioning ideology before. So close. Okay. Right now, we made a benevolent decision, so we have access to all of these options on the benevolent tree. Could get straight up a ton of research. That's quite tempting. But this tree gives us like planets and free terraforming. So I'm gonna go for it. Not because I want the free colony ship, but because I want the class 10 planet because as I've been saying, I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. I'm not gonna go for that one right away though. That's like a mop up option. Uh, turf is gonna be really limited, especially on the galaxy size. We've got 12 empires in here and what we get is probably all we're gonna get. So we need to nab as much as possible. This is an all you can eat buffet that's newly depleted from the start. I know it's a horrifying thing to think about. Okay, we move them there next turn and then we build the star base. Nope. Let's take a quick look here. There always seems to be a little bit of a lag when we cross this uh, icon threshold, so bear with it. Come on now. It's not telling us anything more. Just that it's defended. I don't know what to do. We'll decide next time. Thank you for watching, everyone.